Hi guys, I'm Kiana from Indara Naturals and in today's video we're going to talk about three hair growth myths that could be keeping you stuck or have you confused about what steps you need to take if having longer hair is your ultimate goal. So the first one that we're going to talk about is genetics. This is probably the reason that I hear most often for why people think that their hair is not growing. They think it's because they don't have good genes or they don't have the right genes to grow longer hair. And they think that my hair is long because I have good genetics. So there is a genetic component to hair growth. That part is true, but a lot of people are confused about which parts of their hair growth are affected by their genetics and exactly how your genetics can affect your hair growth. So the first thing that your genetics are going to determine is how long your hair stays in each of the three hair growth phases. So your hair grows in a cycle. There's a growth phase, there's a shedding phase, and then there's a resting phase. So how long you stay in the growth phase how long you stay in the shedding phase and how long you stay in the resting phase are determined by your genetics. But the growth phase is on average three to five years for each strand of hair. And for some people, it can be as long as seven years. For some people, it can be as short as two years. But everybody's hair stays in the growth phase for at least two years. And all of your hairs are not going to be in the same phase at the same time. So most of your hair is gonna remain in the growth phase. And then every day, a few of your hairs are gonna be in the shedding phase. And then some of your hairs are gonna be in the resting phase. This is why we shed about 100 hairs per day because those are the hairs that are in the shedding phase currently. So when those hairs shed, new hairs grow into the follicle and then your growth phase starts again for three to five years on average. So nobody's growth phase is a week or two weeks or six months. Everybody's growth phase lasts at least two years. And then the second thing that your genetics can affect is your terminal length. So the terminal length of your hair is the maximum length that your hair can grow to. So is it waist length? Is it hip length? Is it knee length? That is your terminal length and that is determined by your genetics. However, for most people, the vast majority of people, your terminal length is going to start at bra strap length or longer. So nobody's terminal length is chin length or shoulder length. If your hair is getting to those lengths and you're getting stuck there, it's probably not because of your genetics. It's probably because of some other hair care practice. Um, and we'll talk about those a little bit later. But for most people, the vast majority of people, your terminal length is at least bra strap length or longer. And then the third thing that can be affected by your genetics is the rate of hair growth. So how fast does your hair grow each month? Most people, on average grow their hair half an inch every month some people can grow up to one inch every month some people only grow a quarter of an inch every month and that is determined by your genetics there are some things that can speed up your hair growth good nutrition um, some essential oils such as the oils that we use in our soothing growth oil and our extra strength growth oil those can stimulate your hair follicles and speed up your hair growth um, there are things obviously that can also slow down your hair growth, like poor nutrition, stress, um, some hormonal changes, medications, things like that. So your hair growth is largely determined by your genetics. Your rate of hair growth is largely determined by your genetics, but it can be affected by other things. The second myth is that your hair is not growing. This is not true. Your hair is always growing. It might be growing more slowly than someone else's hair um, or it might be becoming damaged at the ends and breaking off or needing to be trimmed before you get to the length that you want before your hair reaches its terminal length but it is growing you know that your hair is always growing because when you get braids or a sew-in you have new growth um, if you get a relaxer, you know, your hair is growing out and that relaxer is going to need to be touched up. I don't recommend relaxers. Okay, I'm just using it as an example. 
um, or if you have hair color then you can see that you know after a month or so your hair color is growing out and it needs to be touched up that shows you that your hair is growing everyone's hair is always growing unless you have you know a genetic condition autoimmune disease al certain types of alopecia things like that that are preventing your hair from growing but for the most part everyone's hair is always growing so the problem is not that your hair is not growing is that either your hair is growing very slowly in which case you know there are some things that can speed it up like i said some essential oils having good nutrition that's going to help increase your rate of hair growth or there are things that are causing your hair to get damaged at the ends and preventing you from seeing the length that your hair is growing but you're not seeing it because you it's breaking off at the ends so your hair is always growing your genetics are most likely not the reason why your hair is not as long as you want it to be and then the third myth is around protective styling. That protective styling is going to make your hair grow faster or that protective styling is going to protect your hair on the ends and keep it from breaking and that's going to help you see more length. What I find is that most people who are wearing protective styles long term are not caring for their hair properly while the hair is in a protective style so that when you take it out you end up having to just cut a lot because you have a lot of split ends and damage or you have so much breakage that you're breaking you know all of your progress is just breaking off and then you're not seeing any true gains in your length after being in a long-term protective style a lot of protective styles do not allow you to have access to your hair. So you can't wash it as often as you should. You can't moisturize it. You can't deep condition because your hair is covered. Um, you know, it's in, if it's in braids, if it's in um, under like a sew-in or a, a lace front, that you can't take your hair out, wash it, condition it, moisturize it, and then restyle it. That would take a long time. Um, so I know that protective styles are very convenient. They help your hair look nice every day without you having to, you know, get up and do things to it. But in the long run, they usually are not really protecting your hair. They're usually just causing your hair to be dry and more damaged. So I really don't recommend protective styles. Um, I'm not really a fan of them. They can work if you get them redone frequently. If you got your hair braided and you only kept them in for four weeks and then you got them redone every month and you deep condition well and you moisturize your hair very well, then that could work for you. But most people are not gonna do that because I mean the whole point of getting the protective style is to keep it in for a long time. Um, so I just find that they end up being more damaging than they are protective because they do allow your hair to dry out and become damaged. So what can you do? If you want your hair to grow longer, if you know your genetics are not the issue, it's not that your hair is not growing, the protective styles aren't helping, what should you be doing? Number one, the number one thing that you should be doing is deep conditioning. You need to deep condition your hair I prefer if you would deep condition your hair every week, but you know, every two weeks is okay. Every month is acceptable. If you're not deep conditioning at least once a month, then your hair is probably going to be dry. You're going to have a lot of breakage. You're going to have a lot of split ends. Um, if your hair is at its like optimum health, is hydrated, is moisturized, then you wouldn't need to deep condition as often but most people are not washing their hair often enough or using the proper products or moisturizing often enough to not need deep conditioner so for most people to keep your hair to maintain your hair's health and to get it back to especially if it's very dry it's been dehydrated for a long time you need to be deep conditioning every week at least every two weeks if you can't do that, then at least once a month, but you need to be deep conditioning. Most of the time, the reason why your hair is not getting to the length that you want is because it is dry. 
it's dry, it's breaking, it's hard for you to detangle, it won't keep a style, so you have to keep redoing your style every day. Um, you're putting a lot of gel and mousse and styling products in it to try to get it to look the way that you want it to. Um, it's just dry, it's too dry. So you need to decondition. The second thing that you should be doing is making sure that you're protecting your ends. You need to be using some oil on your ends. I use our organic pre-shampoo oil on my ends at least twice a week. And it just helps to, you don't need a lot, just a few drops. You wanna just coat the ends and it just keeps your hair from tangling on itself, from getting split ends, from getting um, knots on the ends. And that will help keep you from having to trim as often or to trim as much hair with each trim. Um, and then you should be, you shouldn't be redoing your hair every day. So styling your hair every day, combing it every day, brushing it every day is going to lead to split ends and breakage on your ends. Um, also, you need to be careful of how much heat you're using because that also is going to cause damage to your hair. Chemicals, relaxers, keratin treatments, even certain products, certain gels that have a lot of artificial ingredients um, that can be detrimental to your hair. Um, anything that's going to cause like a waxy buildup or very heavy oils that are going to coat your hair and prevent moisture from coming in. All of those things can stunt your hair growth. They're going to cause your hair to dry out or cause your hair to shed excessively, cause you to have to trim more often. So I try to avoid you know, any of those things. I don't use gel in my hair anymore. I haven't had a relaxer in almost 20 years. Um, so, you know, you really want to be careful about any chemicals. Col hair color can be very drying to your hair and cause a lot of breakage and shedding. So you just want to be very careful what kind of chemicals you're putting in your hair. You want to be washing your hair at least every two weeks. I prefer once a week, but you know, if you can do every two weeks, some people can get away with only washing once a month, but most of you should be washing at least once a week, every two weeks, and then deep conditioning. Um, if your shampoo is too harsh, that can dry your hair out and cause a lot of breakage. That's why I like to use the clay mask, the Ayurveda clay wash in my hair most of the time, and then I, I alternate that Sometimes I'll use shampoo maybe every couple of months, but for the most part when I'm cleaning my hair, it's with the clay mask because that is very moisturizing, it's strengthening, it's hydrating, um, and it simulates hair growth. So you want to be using good quality products. You want to be washing your hair often enough. You want to deep condition, protect your ends, don't comb or brush too roughly, um, don't leave your protective styles in for too long. Those are the types of things that are going to help you grow your hair to the length that you want. If your hair is not growing to the length that you want and you're confused about what you should do, you can email me at contact at andaranaturals.com. I will work on a regimen with you. I'll help you select um, the products that you need. But generally, it's not your genetics. Is usually something else that's going on that's keeping your hair from growing to the length that you want. So email me if you have questions. If you're not already on my email list, make sure you sign up for weekly hair care tips and more videos like this one.